um, three years down the line, I feel that um, has been day after day um, throwing salt in our wounds all the time since the first day. I remember it was a Monday, I remember it was like it was yesterday. A Monday when we learned that this um, horrible thing that happened to my nephew. I can my mad noch woorden op your phone died. I see nee man mommy. Fat me mommy no Jeremiah is one leader. That is that is was not the word you use when it comes to children, in fact not babies. So I said to my mommy, I'm going to phone her back again. I found her back and she said to me the same thing which I couldn't understand. And then we get to High Court and then we see the very same case we know of. We see it in snippets. We see it in bits and pieces. Um, so then we come home and, and, and we discuss it. Then we're very confused as to, okay, we there already, but there's so many other facts that hasn't been discussed or disclosed, yeah. which we already know of. So that was a big concern to me as to, how the court is going about this case. So, at the moment I'm frustrated. Mm. At, uh, very frustrated at the justice system. Like I said to you previously, to me this is not even about my nephew anymore. He's gone. He's at peace. He's at rest. Nobody can harm him no more. What he's been through is no longer. Mm. This is now my struggle for the future generation because this hasn't gotten any better since the day my nephew was murdered brutally by his own mother and the boyfriend it wasn't a stranger he wasn't kidnapped it happened in their home so to me first of all that is unacceptable how the court has dealt with us um, what was even more shocking, um, the day of judgment, when Abigail was said that um, she got free from all the other um, the charges. charges that was against her. I couldn't understand. I, I literally broke down because I had, like I said, from the beginning, I had high hopes. To me, there was no lack in evidence. I think it was the... the, the, the the way um, the court presented this case at the beginning, it was sufficient evidence. Um, the pathologist said it like it was, which was extremely gruesome for us to listen to. Um, so I, I want to know how could the court make that mistake to me? How could they make such a mistake to let um, those charges go? So to me, I've got a lot of frustration at the justice system, and I think that is why this can happen day after day. It can still happen, it has happened last week, it has happened a couple of days. Nothing comes from it. Where is the seriousness about women and children? This that our president is saying, um, they, need to, they need to sharpen the law. When is it coming? How many children must still go? How many females, how many... How many people must still die at the hands of their own family, their own partners, their own friends? So my feeling towards this is, if his mother didn't allow accused number two, this would never have happened. Because at the end of the day, she was the primary caregiver to that little baby. So I want to know, there's so many questions that I have. How do they dismiss the fact that all of those injuries she never saw it? Um, she just dismissed it. She was never home. All of all of those little things that added to his passing. How did the court miss all that? I want to know because, like I said, this was this was like in snippets, in little bits and pieces, we saw the case. Mm. So what happens to that other information that they know of? And that we also know of as a family already. What happens to it? Do we just sit there and chew it at the back of our, of our teeth? What do we do with that, knowing what we already know? Mm. And, and as for the delays in the case, 
um, right now, I understand that this coronavirus has taken over um, everybody's lives. But at the end of the day, while everybody else is worried and stressed about food on their tables, we are stressed about answers to our nephew's mother. So, so that is just basically my, my take on, on this is the question that will always remain on my lips as to why um, his mother allowed this and also when is the justice system going to stand for what they are saying.